Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Before we begin, I ask and request humbly from all higher and pure source to bless this reading and help me pass the messages through to all who are watching this channel. Namaste. This is a reading for the last week of September 26th, 2022, and I will be using the tarot cards and the coffee cup and some lovers oracles with a touch of romance oracles just to see what's happening for you around the 26th of September and that last week of September 2022. So the first thing here I see is that we have this dark cloud. If you see this dark cloud there in your coffee cup, it tells me that you've been going through some depression. You know, uh, I feel that something hasn't been going your way. Uh, every, every attempt that you've made, I feel that this dark cloud has interfered. It's brought some negative energy and it's brought some depression. You know, um, you know, I feel that uh, whatever you're trying or whatever you're attempting, uh, everything seems to be closed at the moment and there isn't much motivation. You're not being motivated, uh, you know, to, to be able to do anything. There's no inspiration out there for you. So I feel that you've been blocked and, you know, you've had to compensate this depression, whether it be with food, uh, with some vices, you know, just uh, not taking care of yourself and, and doing the opposite. Because sometimes when we do get depressed, we tend to, you know, look for other means of comfort. So there has been some, you know, uh, vices being used for other means of com comfort. But I feel that soon this is coming to an end because you have awoken from this. And if you haven't, you will awake from this uh, from 26 September and onwards. And I see you doing something about it. I see a change coming and I see you improving, improving a lot of things. Now, some of you have had your heart broken. There's a heart there. Now, this heart is, what can I say about this heart? This heart has been broken. Uh, I feel that you've put your trust in somebody. And, um, you know, there's been, look, if broken is a bit hard, uh, harsh, uh, I feel that there's been a bit of a disappointment. Uh, things haven't gone the way you want. Uh, but I still feel we're in that temporary pause. So not everything is final yet. It hasn't been finalized. So whatever decision has happened and whatever conclusion that you've come up with, I feel it hasn't been finalized. So this needs a bit more time. I feel once we pass through 26th of September, 2022 and onwards, I feel there'll be more clarity. There's a misunderstanding that needs to come to surface and to be explained. And it needs time, it needs patience, and it needs a bit of trust and faith. So have faith and trust that this thing is going to, it's going to come through. Uh, I feel somebody is, uh, you know, there's a, there's a negative energy or there's a stubborn energy around this. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things that it's my way or the highway. It needs compromise. It needs you to meet halfway. So, you know, uh, I feel that, you know, if there's no compromise, if there's no mutual compromise from both parties, then this thing uh, will not come to surface and I don't see it uh, succeeding. Otherwise, uh, give it time because only time, only with great time, time is the healer of all wounds and all compromises and, and it fixes everything. Time is, is the only thing that we can rely on and it tells me here, give us some time. This thing can come through. There might be a, a, a you know, a mutual uh, understanding. Trust can be rebuilt, but time is needed. Time is the healer of all wounds. So if, if you're rushing into this, if you're rushing for somebody to make a decision, you're pushing something fast, it doesn't always work. You need time. So, you know, have a think about that. Give it time because I see, I see a lot of improvement and I see a trust being rebuilt. Um, also here, I see that, uh, you know, there's something coming your way. Now, this thing that's coming your way, I feel it, it, it is coming through the speed of light. So it's something very fast that's approaching your life. It needs, you know, I feel that this thing that's coming, it needs 
uh, a bit of a push. So I feel that it's pushing you. It's coming very fast. It's almost you know, you know, coming through to your life and making you make fast decisions. This is a complete different project and this needs some clarity also. I feel this September 26th and moving on, you will be needing a lot of clarity and time is going to be uh, on your side. So whatever is, whatever decision that you have to make fast or somebody's pushing you to make a fast decision or you're pushing somebody to make a fast decision, I feel that there's days and weeks that need more time invested in. So give it time, give it days, give it a week if you have to, just so that you can have the clarity to, to make the right decision. And making that right decision does not mean making it on the spot. So I feel that somebody could be rushing you or you are rushing yourself, but it, this thing won't work. This thing won't work. It's all attached to this whole story. The time is going to fix it and time is needed. And like I said, days, a week, even two weeks max. So that's that. Um, I feel that you've had a burden on your shoulder. There's a responsibility here that you've taken on. And this has, you know, it, it's taken its toll. This responsibility, you will be released. You will be free from this responsibility. But I see two to three. So this could be uh, two to three people can be involved in this story. Uh, you need support from two to three people or two to three situations or could be two to three financial issues. But uh, this thing, this burden is not going away anytime soon unless these two to three doors open of finances and uh, certain people with power and situations to make it work. Uh, so September 26 and moving on uh, will give you uh, that solution. You will come to understand that you can't do this on your own. And these two to three, uh, you know, two to three categories, people, situations, finances, I'm picking up two to three. They're the ones that are going to help you unburden this load. Um, I also here see somebody is trying to reach out. There's somebody that wants to pass on a message to you. This message is very valuable. Uh, some of you maybe have you know, haven't had a chance to get this message. Uh, you haven't been around. You haven't been available. Uh, you are, you have been busy yourself. This message is coming out. It's going to reach you. This message will be very valuable. So whatever you're doing, stop and, and, and see. And, and if you have to check your email, check a letter, check a phone, check a message, because there is a message out there that wants to reach you and it will be very beneficial for you. So don't miss out on that message because I see a truly utterly being beneficial for you. Um, I do see you smiling. There's a big smile here. I see some happiness coming your way. Uh, I feel that th this is the end of a hard depression. It's the end of hard times. I see you coming out of some darkness. You are smiling because things are opening your way. I see some white and light energy coming your way. It's uplifting you. It's making you laugh again. It's making you smile again. And this energy is very beautiful and it's coming towards the end of the month. So the end of September 2022. Uh, and I, I feel that you will feel lighter and you will feel happier. Some of you, uh, there's a situation that's changing, that's bringing on the smile. This situation calls for a celebration. So a lot of you will be celebrating. I see you smiling. I see you laughing. I see you reaching to an agreement. I see a solution being solved. And because of this, burdens are being, uh, you know, lifted and you feel lighter and freer. You know, some of you might be finishing a responsibility. Uh, you know, there's a responsibility, a burden that you've carried for, for some time. It's coming to an end. It's reaching its, its you know, end. And you are truly going to smile and celebrate and find this very joyful. It's the end of hard challenges and the end of hard times. So that was your message. And I hope, uh, you know, you do clear, clear all those burdens and they all become uplifted. Now, let's see what our tarot cards would like to add for September, for the week of September 26th, 2022, our last week of September. What does the universe want to tell us? What messages? Okay. Wow. So we are getting that clarity. That clarity is coming. 
we've got the moon card here so the moon card tells us that there will be listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine because there is clarity coming. There'll be revelations that will make everything very clear. So you will be celebrating uh, with the Six of Pentacles. It tells me that the good that you've done will come back to you. You know, there will be an unexpected flow of abundance. So you will truly and utterly be happy with the good karma that's coming back. I feel this responsibility, this problem is truly and utterly, uh, you know, it's removing itself. Uh, this negative energy is removing itself from you from 26th of September and onwards. Uh, you will, you have and will protect your heart, uh, you know, because you have learned, you have learned from the past and you're not going to be naive anymore and you're not going to, you know, uh, be, be trusting, uh, you know, you will examine and protect yourself before you make any more decisions, before you take any more harsh and hard responsibilities. So I do feel that in the future, you will protect your heart. Um, but at the same time, um, I do see you, you know, passionate, confident, charismatic, and you will move on to the next step. You will stay focused. Um, I see that from now on, you will go by your instinct. You will trust your instincts. You're not going to be just taking other people's advice because you've learned your lesson. Um, you are going to be free and, and you know, there, there's been a lot going on. So I feel that some of these burdens you're going to be enlightened and these burdens have caused you stress and you know you've had to compromise a lot of your situation but you are being free the six of pentacles tell us that you will you will be free by the moon card which will give you clarity and release you uh, this clarity is going to release you and give you that freedom and you will earn that good karma and it's payback time so you will get that good karma back um and also uh, i see that you know there's angels around you that will help you uh, with the nine of wands it tells us ask your angels and the divine for help because there will be answers coming through uh, and some of you we've got the knight of cups here we've got love here love is coming love is being very romantic love is around you there's a love energy that is around you uh, it's having you you know it's going to sweep you off your feet it'll be a sudden uh, spot spontaneous amazing love that's coming it's increasing it's around you if you're coupled there's love in the air you know um your love energy is going to do things that are going to be amazing and miraculous if you're singles you know the spirits are guiding you to true love so there's a balance there in love and a relationship that will make your heart flutter you will be swept off your feet i see there's a great love a great energy of love art and poetry all heading your way you know it, it's a beautiful time this is this is for all the good that you've done this is because you'll be released from a burden that you no longer you will be carrying and it will be a time for amazing events and rapid changes you'll be able to multitask it's almost like you'll be able to move on now you'll be able to move forward because you were stuck you were stuck with this negative energy and you weren't able to move so uh, you know I, I love what's happening I love what's coming September 26 is clearing out clearing away all the obstacles and all the challenges so let's see what our lovely romance oracles want to add for 26th of September, our last week, 2022. And our lovers oracles, what would they like to add? Okay, wow. So surrender, surrender. So sometimes we have to surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. So let go and everything will work out. Let go of the past. Let go of past burdens. Uh, they no longer serve you. Let go of addictions. Anything that, that no longer uh and you you know you will realize that everything has a timing and everything has an expiration date and if something in your life has expired you know let go of this energy it doesn't serve you anymore and um 
also it says here it talks about addictions even the romance uh, oracles they tell us you know addictions are affecting your romantic life so if there's something that you're in a vicious cycle if you're addicted to something that you know is, is giving you a burden it's giving you a heartache let go of it let go of it so something new and amazing can enter your life the spirits and God and the universe and all the pure energies around you want to bring you together with a true happiness a true soulmate energy a wonderful love energy in the light it's calling for this light energy but you need to let go of the past of all the negative energy we need to let go of the negative energy so that the positive energy comes our way so that's the lesson here let go of something that no longer services you and move on because only then you will and you have to surrender in order to do this in order to let go you need to surrender and by surrendering the universe is going to help you and send you true light energy so and also then all your wishes will come true so you know the answer dwells in your heart the oracles tell us the answer dwells in your heart and this your heart is the gateway to your soul so let go of things that don't service you let go of all the negative energy once you do that then you've only got positive energy coming your way and i wish you the best with all that and i'm sure you will succeed that was your reading for the 26th of september 2022 the last week and i wish you all the best with that and namaste and thanks for watching